One of Hurricane Matthew's parting shots, a barrage of biting mosquitoes in some parts of our area. To counter them, an aerial assault of mosquito spraying will take place tonight between 8 and 11 o'clock throughout St. Johns County. Here's a look at the different locations that will be sprayed from above. If you live in these areas, the county recommends that you and your pets stay indoors during tonight's treatment. Channel 4's Elizabeth Campbell spoke with Anastasia Mosquito Control in St. Johns County today. She's joining us live in Nocatee, one of the areas targeted tonight. Elizabeth. Yes, Mary, that's right. Nocatee is where we are right now. This is about one of six areas in the county that is going to have the spraying begin in just a couple of hours. And these areas are western intracoastal type areas of the county. And a lot of them have standing water like you see in these ditches here. Now, Mosquito Control says the reason they are resorting to aerial uh, mosquito spraying is because they say that the ground spraying is simply not doing the job. I live on the marsh, so it's, you know, it's a constant battle, but I mean, that's, that's Florida. That's just the way it is, you know, especially after a hurricane, a lot of standing water and stuff like that. There's going to be some mosquitoes. After Hurricane Matthew, Christopher Bibbs with Anastasia Mosquito Control, which covers all of St. John's County, says the mosquitoes are worse than they've been in quite some time. Every day the population of mosquitoes has gone up and up and up, and there's a lot of people at risk right now because they're doing outdoor restoration efforts, there's hurricane relief groups, and things like that. Tonight, many parts of the county will be a part of post-storm relief aerial spring, something he says hasn't happened in more than 10 years. The EPA says the chemical in the aerial spraying can be used for public health mosquito control programs without posing risk to people. However, as a precaution, people and pets in the zone should stay inside during tonight's spraying. This chemical is not going to leave a long lasting residual. It should be gone by the morning easily. Um, in addition to it blowing away and a variety of other things, as soon as the sun comes up, the sun cooks it off like it would fog. So mosquito control just learned Monday that this aerial spraying would be taking place. So they have alerted the public. They also said they made calls to people like beekeepers, farmers, telling anyone to, you know, cover pr crops or anything else that they may want to have more protection. Now, they also say that they're not going to uh, spray protected lands like Guana, 12 Mile, other protected areas. And then one final thing, they say they have been receiving more than one thousand calls a day in the last week people with questions about mosquitoes so before you make that call you might want to head to their website first they've got a lot of helpful information we've provided a link to that for you on our website newsforjacks.com reporting live from Nocatee Elizabeth Campbell channel 4 the local station